Hey, what's going on? So this is a quick tutorial, quick how-to video on making GIFs for your email signatures, either for you or for your clients' uh, video business cards. So just a quick little disclaimer um, in this original thread here, Travis did make a point that it could potentially set off uh, some type of spam filter. I haven't had any issues with it or heard from clients who have had issues with it, but just a note that your experience may vary. So let's just get right on into it here. So I'm going to show you, I'm gonna open up real quick, a session for one of my clients that I recently worked with who I made a GIF for. And I'm gonna strip it back here to what it looks like when I basically first start here. So once I'm done the video business card, I just go in, choose some clips that kind of show what, like from the B-roll that show what my client is doing best. Um, if it shows their face, great. If it shows motion, also great. Um, the trick here is you don't wanna, you wanna select, I say like between five and 10 clips, but the duration of this GIF can be no longer than seven seconds. So just keep that in mind. It's gonna be kind of quick cuts. So here I have seven clips, more or less a second each. Um, I'm just gonna play through here real quick so you can see what we got. Again, these are just clips that made it to the final cut that I liked. There we go, great. Now, what we wanna do here to make this look like an actual thumbnail is add in a couple elements. So the first thing that I do is I put on an effect. Um, again, I'm using Final Cut, so just use whatever the closest thing is if you use Premiere or Resolve. So I put on an effect called Colorize on all of my clips that just does, puts on a little bit of opacity almost, so it kind of darkens the clips. Basically, remaps the highlights and, and shadows to a color and I just make it black, put on the intensity 50%, and then all of a sudden we have this, darker looking clips. Great, that's what we need to make this text and graphic overlay pop a little bit. So the next thing that I do is I have this PNG file of a play button that I really like, and I use this on all of them. I just shrink it down, put it right in the center, and ah, extend it all the way across the entire duration of the clip here. Next up, uh, again, you can create a play button, bring in your own play button that you like. Uh, I just like this one because it's PNG and I like the look of it. So next up, and honestly, the, pretty much the final thing is to add in your text that you want. Again, this is gonna be a, a branded thing that's gonna vary from one VBC to another. For this one, I just used text that kind of mirrored her uh, branding style and her website uh, in the colors and the font and everything. So just have this going all the way through. So real quick, I'm gonna play it one more time. Again, just under seven seconds. Here it is with the uh, color darkening over it and the text on top. So there we go. We have our basis video file here done. All you're gonna do is export it, uh, save it where you need to, your project files, and then we are going to go over to Giphy. If you don't have a Giphy account, create one, it's free, it's super straightforward and super easy and a convenient thing to have if you're gonna be doing stuff like this. So what we're gonna do first is click Create and then it brings us to this screen. We can, you can click here and choose things. Um, you can upload a link, I wouldn't really recommend doing that, but what we're gonna do is go to our movie file so New Heights email signature GIF dot move. We're gonna drag it into this screen here. And then GIF is gonna start giving us their options. So we're gonna extend the duration all the way out. It doesn't let you go longer than seven seconds, which is why we have that limit. And start time, we're gonna leave it zero. So this just has selected the entire clip. So we're gonna go continue to decorate. Giphy again gives us some options for putting on text and animations and filters and all this stuff. We've already done that because we're professionals. <laughs> so uh, feel free to mess around, but I'm just gonna go continue to upload. Here, um, source URL, you can put whatever the hell you want. I don't bother with that, honestly. Uh, tags, I'll usually put like Foxel and 
uh, video, if I can spell, video business card, whatever else you want to put there. Um, you don't need to get crazy with it. And then public, on or off, I leave it on. I don't, I've never had any issues with it. Uh, it's easier to access, I guess. So, but if you're, you know, feeling weird about it, go for it, turn it public off. And then upload to Giphy. It's gonna do its thing right here. And uh, guys, it's really just kind of as, as simple as this, creating the GIF. You can just export a video file and it will turn one into it. So you'll see as soon as it uploads here that it's playing the GIF. This is it. All you have to do now is go to this media button, the little export box. It's gonna give you a couple options on how to download it. I do social because it's optimized for social sharing, 10 megabytes or less. We want basically as small as we can get here. So you download it, save it again to your project files, wherever you have them, uh, call it whatever you need to call it. And then we have that saved. So what we're gonna do to get it into the email signature now is basically the same thing that we would do with a regular email, regular email signature photo uh, thumbnail. So we go into settings, I use Gmail. If you don't use Gmail, uh, I'm sorry, you're wrong. <laughs> Go down to your email signature here, and I'm gonna get rid of my old one right here. What you're gonna to wanna to do is go to insert image. This GIF is going to count as an image file, so we're gonna click on the upload tab, go to our file where we have the GIF right here, upload it, drag it right in there, and bam, it's gonna pop in. Uh, I'm sorry that this text box here is so small. I don't know how to expand it right now, but we're gonna click on the image itself. You can change the size. I usually find that large based on the social sharing download works best. So we've got that in there now. And then again, you just highlight the entire thing, find link that's hiding right behind this right here, and then link to the video. And then there you have it, it is done. That is going to just play like in the preview that I showed you before. Uh, it'll show up in all your emails and it, it you got a cool, really cool looking, really eye catching uh, email signature for you or for your clients. So I hope that works. If you have any questions or anything, feel free to let me know. And uh, I hope you can put this to good use. Cheers guys.